During the 2025 budget presentation, Finance Minister Colm Imbert announced that VAT bonds in the amount of $3 billion will be paid to small and medium-sized businesses come January 31st next year. President of the Trinidad and Tobago Manufacturers Association, Roger Roach, says while this is a welcome move, going forward proper planning needs to be put in place for the continuous payments. For you members who, who call it TTMA, we know that these VAT payments will assist with cash flow challenges and allow you to allocate much needed working capital back into your business. However, notwithstanding this great news, we at the TTMA look forward to a long-term solution to this perennial problem and stands ready to engage in meaningful discussions with the government on the issue. Roach also highlighted that several manufacturing subsectors experienced significant gains in export over the fiscal 2020 to 2023. Food and beverage, 40%, and these are growth triggers. Paper and paper-related products, 47%. Plastics and rubber products, 66%. Basic chemicals and fertilizers, 46%. Glass and glass products, 161%. Roach was speaking at TTMA's post-budget panel discussion at the Hyatt Regency yesterday. President of the TNT Coalition of Services Industries, Diane Joseph, sees the construction of a marina in Lowlands, Tobago, as a step in the right direction. Joseph says this can help boost tourism on the island. This is going to be of added value to the marine and yachting subsector as it has the potential to attract local and international enthusiasts, enhancing Tobago's appeal as a yachting destination and promoting national tourism. On Monday, Finance Minister Colm Imbert said a request for proposals will be made to develop the marina just southwest of the Petit True Lagoon on lands currently being acquired by the government for the plantation estate. And now for a look at today's energy and foreign exchange prices. Andrea Perez-Sobas, CNC3 Business Watch.